Hi, my name is Jen Marie Kello, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pick a path story using Google Slides. Kids of all ages love reading pick a path or choose your own adventure stories, and with Google Slides, they can easily make their own and share it. They can be very simple, with lots of pictures and a little text, or more complex. Students can complete them individually or collaborate on one class or group story, each creating their own slides. First, it is important to plan the story with all the choices. A flowchart can be very useful for this. A tool like Google Drawing or the Lucid Chart app can be very worthwhile to use. Numbering all the choices can be very helpful later. Then we need to open Google Drive. Click New and select Google Slides. Then you can choose the theme. I'm going to choose Simple Light and click OK. And I'm going to add a title. You can go back later and make this slide look pretty. Go to the Slide tab and add a new slide, or you can use Control M. I'm going to go to Apply Layout and I am going to choose Blank. Okay. Now I'm going to add a text box um, and I'm going to put in my introduction to my story. Now I'm going to go to my Pick a Path flowchart and I'm actually going to select the text from there and paste it in, or you could just type it in. So then I am going to put in the choices, and if I have a look here, my choices are bowl or washing machine. So I'm going to put in my choices one, bowl, two, washing machine. And I'm going to put a little question mark after each of those. Um, I'm just going to put a space between the two just to make it a little bit easier to read. And then I'm going to make my font a little larger. Okay. So the next thing that I need to do is make a slide for each of these two choices, the bowl and the washing machine. So I'm going to go to New Slide and I'm going to make a couple of slides. So my first one's going to be bowl, so I go back to my chart and I'm going to select the text for bowl. Oops, a little bit too small, there we go. And font size. And add in again the choices here. And make them as questions. Have something to eat. Have something to drink. Okay, make that just a little bit wider. There we go. And again, I'm going to just put a bit of a space in there just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, and in my next slide, so if I go back here, my washing machine was my other choice. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select the text for the washing machine. And I'm just going to paste that in and select a bigger font. There we go. Let's move it over a bit. And so my choices here are computer or shoe. 
things. So one is computer. Um, we'll go on the computer. And two is on a shoe. And space again. Okay, so now I've got my two choices there. So now I need to link the slides. So I start off by highlighting the first choice, which is bowl. And I go up to this little link button. And I'm going to choose slides in this presentation to link it to. Now I know that my bowl one was slide three. Okay, if I'm not sure, I can go back and check that. But um, it sometimes pays to write down um, what, which, what the choices are so that it makes it easier at this stage. So slides in this presentation, and the slide I want to go to is slide number three. Okay, then just go apply. Then I'm going to do the washing machine, which I've worked out is, is slide number four. So I go slides in this presentation, scroll down till I find slide number four, and apply. Okay. So now if I click on that, it would take me to slide three. Um, and if I click on the other option, it will take me to slide four. So then I need to do the same for this for each of these. So I need to create um, a slide for have something to eat and a slide for having something to drink. And then I'll need to do one for the computer and one for the shoe and then link them all. So once I've done that, I just carry on and put in the rest of the story and all of the choices and link them. And then I can start uh, making it look a bit prettier. So I go to my background and choose a colour for my background. Go to apply to all, so all the slides are the same background colour and click done. And then I can start adding my images. So I'm going to put one on this slide of the shoe and I'm going to go to image. I can either go insert images or I can click the little image symbol. Go insert image. Now it helps if you have all of your pictures already in one folder in your Google Drive. It just makes it a lot easier at this stage when it comes to um, finding the picture that you want. Okay, so here is the one that I want for this particular one. And here it is coming in. And I'm just going to resize that a little and move it into place. And I would go through and do that with the rest of the slides, putting in all of the images um, and just check that um, make any changes such as changing the, the, the font or anything else that I want just to make it look right. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what the finished story looks like. So here we have the packs, the cat pick a path story. And I'm just going to go into present mode and show you how it works. So I'm just going to carry on, go through the story. So here we have the first part of the story, and there are our two choices. So in this case, I'm going to choose the washing machine. And then I'm going to choose computer. And in a box. And in a suitcase. And that's the end of the story. And it's giving me now the option to either start again or finish the story. Okay, so once I've finished that, um, I make sure that I've set my sharing options so that everyone can view. So when I, I'm going to click on Advanced, and if you can see here it says Private Only, you can access. I'm going to click Change. I'm going to click on Anyone with the link. And down here I'm going to make sure it's set to Can View. And go Save. Then I can copy that link and I can pop that onto uh, my blog or a website um, or anywhere else that you can pop a link. Okay. Or I could put it into my Google site. So I'll just show you how to do that. So here is my Google site and I've already created the page that I want to put it on. 
and I'm going to go up to the edit button, the little pencil, and click that. And then I'm going to click in this box. I've actually created two columns here, although you could just do it in one column. And I'm going to go up to the Insert tab. I'm going to go to Drive and Presentation. I'm going to select my presentation and I'm going to click Save. Um, I'm going to leave it as small. If I was doing it in one column instead of two, I could probably select Medium. But um, with small, it fits better into one column. So now you can see I have my presentation there. There's the little placeholder. And I'm just going to go save. And now the presentation will appear on my page. Now, it pays when you're doing this to only click the forward arrows to go to start the story rather than clicking play because if you click play it will auto advance right through the story and you won't be able to um, make your choices. So if I click the forward arrow it takes me to the slide and then I can choose if I choose bowl it gives me this and I can choose something to eat, I can choose in a bag, I can choose in the plastic bags, suitcase, so I can make my choices I can start again, and so on. Okay, all within my Google site. So, I hope that that has been useful um, and shown you how to make a um, pick a path story. And my next video I'm going to make will show you how to do the same thing, but using Google Forms instead of Google Slides. Thank you for watching.